Afternoon, everyone. Um, today we have Stuart Lockhead, Rob Munn, Phil Attridge, and myself, Noe Stewart, for a quick chat about FMQs. There's been nothing particularly argumentative this week, so will we just go straight into the scores, gents? Well, I don't want to go sideways like they do in all good political, political shows. Did I hear a Noe Stewart from Leith mentioned on a radio show this morning? You better not have. That's okay then, just in case. There is another Norwich Stuart in Leith. Oh well, he's is. a complete and utter idiot. Yeah, it's a really uncommon name, Stuart, of course, this one. <laughs> well, There's actually a Tory MP called Rory Stuart as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's so a lot of suits about. about it. Too happy about that. <laughs> as it happens, uh, today's performances, well, Joanne, as usual, was. Uh, what was she doing? Being Joanne. Being Joanne Lowent. Um, she. Again, there's still no evidence that she writes her own speech, uh, her own questions. Uh, I wish she could just stand up and make, a, make it quite clear that she's doing it on the fly, that she has some questions, but that, she, that her next question will be in a response to what she's the First Minister's answer, rather than just... I mean, it, it, I'm sorry, it's, it's, it's not professional. Alex, um, again this week, he managed to get a wee bit angry at uh, one point, and it, I don't, I'm not exactly sure why, but I'll come back to it when we go in, into it in more detail, I think. Um, Willie Remy, again, he's been diplomatic. What is happening? I, I mean, it's very noticeable to me, I think, that they've made the decision that they're not going to give him a kick at salmon, that is. I think they're, so they're not saying the man. Well, he actually thanked him yep. for the information imparted, and it looked a lot more grown up. Yeah, it's looking mm -hmm. about something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looked like a proper politician talking to a proper politician. Um, Ruth, uh, well, <laughs> she will always walks into the same trap. She, and the, this week it was about expecting the, the complaining about cuts in Scotland, and all the time her back door is wide open because the, Sam just comes back and says, "Well, it's your government that's um, imposing this austerity." So I mean, doesn't somebody tell her why just? You know, you're just getting shot every week you open your mouth. Rob? Yeah, um, yeah, Joanne Lamont is... Joanne Lamont, she just... Yeah, I don't think she bothered Alec at all this week. Uh, she the theory seems to be that. doesn't, but... Uh, and she sticks, as, as Stuart said, she kind of sticks to her script and works her way through it. Um, it doesn't show a lot of... You know, thinking on our, our feet, seeing opportunities and, and taking them. Not that there were many opportunities for her this week, if any. Um, Ruth Davidson, again, yeah, she's in a difficult position because she has a go in certain th things and it's almost every time I'm on this show, it's to do with um, cuts. Ooh. Now, um, she doesn't, hasn't cottoned on yet that her government, David Cameron, uh, who she always asked the question, when did the First Minister last meet the Prime Minister? Do um, you think she might just click that uh, there's something happening at Westminster which means the Scottish Government and all <laughs> Scottish public services are under the cosh because of austerity? Uh, and that's where Willie Rennie actually does himself a bit of credit. He's getting away from attacking Alec and trying to score cheap points. Uh, he's maybe waking up to the fact that the Liberals are at the moment heading absolutely nowhere other than maybe further down in Scotland uh, and therefore he has to position them where they always were positioned as the reasonable party in Scotland yeah. that are willing to work with others yeah. and I think if he carries on in that line he may actually succeed in holding on to some of their I their mean moments. I'm at the point now where I actually listen to what he says mm. which you know I've, I've kind of given up on joining them up I mean the only reason I pay attention to it uh, first question questions is because you never see her at any other time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've noticed that in the last, probably the last month or so, he just seems to be invisible. You, there's other spokespeople on there, but where's their leader? What's, what does Joanne think about this? But she's obviously getting the script written for you, ready for uh, FMQs. Getting to practice all week. Yeah, I so, thought, well, again, Joanne was the same, leaving herself open uh, as Sam brought in nearly 200 million on Trident. Um, the whole perception that she had about that it's cuts um, and, and really using that unfortunate expression of Peter Lilly, um, something for nothing country, um, was 
pretty bad. And just in case, uh, yesterday's G2 in society, you got uh, an interview with Joanne Lamont. It was actually quite good. You got to see where she come from, where she was going about. But I think a lot of the time, it's the adversarial format of First Minister's questions. They shouldn't have followed. It's, it's just following Westminster. They need to get out of that habit. Um, Ruth Davidson, yeah. She's a Tory. Who cares anyway? They're they're <laughs> off to they're, they're off to hell in a handbasket anyway. Hopefully, and I'll even make them the handbasket if they want. Um, <laughs> Willie Willie Rennie, I thought was yeah good because he was alluding to the story in today's record with Jenny Mara. You know, another new intake in it that are pushing themselves forward on about methadone millionaires and everything else. Unfortunately, it's Willie was taking umbrage. Um, this was a cross party. Um, spat effort yeah spat so um, yeah and he is but I mean Willie's desperate now I mean somebody they've obviously sat down all five of them um, and actually worked out how they go along to try and make it six or seven of them at the next election maybe um, it works yeah, for me yeah on, on, on and Alec as well um, yeah he was in a, a jovial mood that he 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 but again you know um, I I couldn't really see him getting <coughs> rattled. I think it, it's, it's not angry. I think he just gets a bit wearisome, a bit annoyed. You know, they're tiresome rather than, than I think he's, he's, he's got the way he feels yeah. about, you know. I think he'd actually like it if uh, Joanna raised their game. Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Give, him, give him a bit of sport. Well, my, my highlight today was definitely Willie Rennie. He, I mean, he, he looked like a grown-up politician. I thought Ruth calmed herself down a bit. Yeah. She wasn't quite as ridiculous and over the top as she was the week before in the Tory conference. But, as I say continually, she's on a hiding to nothing because as long as there's a Tory government in charge of Westminster, I mean, she certainly shouldn't be talking about public expenditure. I mean, <laughs> and what did she come out with this week? A 1% cut in the rate of tax? Well, she w just wants to spend more. And then she comes she back and says... the Scottish government for cutting things. And, yeah. but she, and then she comes back and says, you know, why aren't you putting more money into this, that, and the next thing? Re-offenders. Who gives up? Whatever. And the classic for me from Joanne today was in the interests of the, putting the interests of the country before the party. Oh well, everybody laughed at that. I actually burst out laughing. And so did the whole, so did the chamber. I mean, because yeah. we all know what sake. the Labour Party been like for the last couple of years, yeah. except apparently the people inside the Labour Party. Well, that I, again, you know, attacking the man. Really, it's getting tedious now. If they can't come up with something concrete, they should shut up. And I think Alex should go back to the old tactic of just getting up and going yes and no. No, that was a good one. I Actually, really they do, because she would hang on. Well, look, we've all missed the, the opening the breaking protocol from, from the start, where um, Joanne Lamont had oh, the audacity. Troll, that was, wasn't Had it? the audacity to crack a really bad joke about Craig Levine, trying to make us imagine that she was talking about Alex Salmon. And then it was just a release. It, it went. I, Light balloon, I think I said well, at the time. But it, but it failed anyway, because she ended up congratulating them in the end. You know, I mean, it was... I, I'm with you. I think some... Sorry, with Stuart, I think somebody else is writing her script. Oh, definitely, yeah. Because she doesn't deliver it well, which means she doesn't really understand it. Yeah, and then she can't come back and wing it, which is surely the first yeah. qualification well, to be a politician. Well, you can actually see her on, on, on programmes when she's been on Question Time or Newsnight uh, or the weekend. She's actually articulate. She gets a her ideas across, and when she writes, it's fine. It's obviously somebody else. I mean, she should really sack her speech writer. Yeah, she can't, because it's, it's her boss, Anna Sarn Ar Ar Sarwar. No, no, he's a deputy. Ah, oh, come on! It'll be a spin doctor. <laughs> who, do you, who do you believe is no, the boss? No, it'll be a spin doctor. Who lied, is the MP. outright, yeah. pure yeah. and yeah. simple, yeah. on the debate on STV, on STV, BBC, can't remember, on Monday, um, about... Basically, they had an audience of 16 and 17 year olds, and he just lied. It just, you know, it was like, okay, if I just keep a straight face, do this, everybody will believe me. No. So, points, Joe. This week, we'll go for Alex first. Out of 10, on his own, he's always on his own lead, isn't he? But uh, he was somewhere in the middle this week on his nor normal performance and as I say you, you say he didn't actually get angry he just seemed to want to stand at one point stand there and <laughs> he's almost bored it, but yeah he just wanted to run off all the all the qualities and all the achievements of not just his 
government, but also the devolved parliament to show up the Labour Party for just what the turncoats they are. Um, on his own score, I would say a seven for Alex this week. Um, Joanne, oh goodness me, she does it all the same. I mean, she just doesn't, they like it, they bang the desks. I'll give a four because they're backbenchers bang hard. But is that not worrying? That everybody else in the Labour Party sitting behind her thinks she's doing well? Well, they, they bear in mind that the press always says she does well, so they think she does well. It's called oh. choreography. Oh, no, right. Um, we'll come to Willie, because Willie, I think we're all agreed, Willie has now been, it's, a, it's been a, a continuing policy for quite a few weeks. Instead of acting the fool, he acts the diplomatic, the thinking, the caring, liberal, uh, as, and, tr and is trying to establish a, an image of the, li the Liberal Party trying to rescue it from an absolute disaster at whatever the next election is. I think that's uh, maybe European next year. Mm -hmm. um, Ruthie. Well, Give me a number for Willie. Willie. Hi. Well, I think Willie deserves a five. Ruthie. Ooh. <laughs> Ruthie, baby. <laughs> really, I think that... I've said it earlier on, I think we all say it, the big mistake she makes <laughs> is forever attacking on... Um, the economy, and always leaving her back door wide open to get a good scalping. I'm not going to take that metaphor any further. It was noticeable today, Annabel Goldie was interviewed yesterday. And she was just, I mean, she took a Tory line about Tory policies, and that was the way she did it. Ruth, I, I don't know, why did she go down? I mean, what does it matter to her? Really? I mean, why should she care if it's her career. vendors get training? It's entirely She's her career. Tory. She timed, if you she notice... She should be hanging yeah, them. Yeah, she, time, she, she yeah. timed her um, her speech, um, the timing in the sense, looking for the backbench applause from her supporters, um, on... They were just policy announcements, uh, just yeah, policy pronouncements, as you would in front of a, a, a Tory-only uh, meeting. Mm. And are they all bang at that? And what does it mean? Absolutely nothing. So we'll give Ruth, again, she's creeping out of the... I don't know what I should do. I'll give her a one. I can't. Just for turning up. <laughs> Rob? Uh, I'm sure on, on Alec. I think a seven. I don't think he was really bothered uh, by anybody this week. Uh, therefore, his performance wasn't... Well, it was, uh, I felt it was calmer than it has been at some of the more recent ones. Um, and I like to see him calmer and answering... Uh, questions and giving out um, the, his line on what the Scottish Government is doing well or, uh, and how it's dealing with, with situations. Um, so, but I think because he wasn't under any pressure, I'm just going to give him a seven. But again, as usual, he's in a class of his own. Yeah. As I say, he wasn't bothered by anyone. Um, Joanne, I think a four. Ooh. She, she's not an unintelligent woman. I think if she could break away from her script, uh, if she could dump this daft, um, let's do away with uh, everything the Scottish Parliament's ever done, line that she seems to be heading down. But uh, I don't know. I, I despair of the, the Labour Party and where it is now in, in, in Scottish politics um, in particular. It, it just does not seem to have learned that it has lost two elections in a row. It is not the party of choice in Scotland anymore, and it needs to redefine itself and shifting to the right. Um, it's not. It is not the way to go. It doesn't mean they have to shift to the, the left. I think that was a mistake they made after 2007 and, and uh, after the Cameron victory. Um, but she needs to define herself as herself and get on. She's not um, as. Uh, she shouldn't be as, as script bound as she comes across uh, because I think she just digs a hole for herself every week. Um, Willie, I'm going to be very charitable, I'm going to give him a five um, mm -hmm. because I think he's attempting to, uh, well, to portray himself I think, with some success as mm -hmm. a consensus politician, which is where, frankly, the Liberals should be as, uh, in, in, in Scottish politics and in British politics. And I think. You know, if he carries on in that line, he'll start to rise as a as a leader mm. um, against people like um, Joanne Lund. Uh Ruth Davidson. Yeah, uh, I don't think I can give her a one. That's just 
it's not that bad. But a three. <laughs> I don't think I need to add anything to what Sierra said. Yeah. Well, I think she's another could do better. <laughs> I'm quite happy with the consensus so far with Alec. A seven. No, didn't have to do it. I just thought he looked a bit bored. A little joke like, um, yeah, must must be really really trying when you're faced with one of a word actually is three numpties, um, political numpties. Um, Joanne, Joanne can do a lot lot better. Um, she wants to dump whoever's writing, definitely writing her script. Um, I'm not going to be as generous because, again, it's this assumption. I take it Levine is something to do with football, is it? Yeah. Uh, right, when right above my head, I haven't got a clue, so why bother wasting? It's meant to be the parliament about politics. It's not a bunch of morons on a Saturday afternoon. Um, so she'll get a fall from me on that. Um, Ruth. Ruth. Yeah, uh, home. Sorry. Sorry, she didn't come up with anything today. Um, it was all contradiction, so I won't even give her a point. I'll just give her a usual throw. Um, no, sorry, I'm well, totally not leaving. Well, that's zero. Uh, Joanne, Joanne will get a four. four. Did you get what did Willie get? Willie, Willie. Uh, see, that's the whole. Willie really looks good because the others, apart from Alec, are that crap. Um, but he was quite right there, and he didn't name the names as well. So there was that consensus, mm. that that whole bit um, about Jenny Mara's front page, you know, uh, all these all these chemists that have to put up with all these junkies and all that coming in and antisocial people. If you look at some of them coming in the morning, half of them are probably fine coming and getting a dose and then you get, they have to put up with that, some of these uh, pit people and that, and then she's slagging them all off as some kind of whatever, um, or making a mint on all this. Um, and, yeah, Willie really did it quite well um, because it was, it was, it was, it, it was including all the other parties. So, yeah, I'll give him the next one. I'll, I'll give Willie I'll give really a five. I'll give him five. We're I'll totaling give, them up this I'll week. give him a five. I'm yeah. totaling them up because you're, oh, apart from your obvious bias yeah. against <laughs> poor Ruth. Um, Alex, I don't know. We, he, he, need, he needs to perk up a bit. But he needs some competition, I think. <coughs> He's beginning. Do that. That's why I think he should go short and sweet. I think he yeah. really should just turn mm. around yes, and, and, things, yeah. and let, let her swing in the wind. Lamont, uh, swing in the wind. Let her stumble because if he turns around with a one-word answer, sits down again, she, she's going to be told with it. She's going to have no idea. The script will run out. <laughs> and then what she's going to do? Make paper airplanes? <laughs> Ain't going to happen. I wasn't impressed with him today. I'm going to give him a six. Joanne, she wasn't quite as strident today. And some of that, I mean, she had material today. The report that she continually referred to gave her that. But her delivery just wasn't good. Um, and I, I think you're right. I think she should write her own stuff. So I'll, I'll go with a four. Willie's my hero. Sorry. He's, he's what I, he, he acted like what I believe the devolved parliament should act like. When there are areas of consensus, you shouldn't be scared to admit there are areas of consensus. When there are areas of severe difficulty, you shouldn't be slagging the party in power, whoever it is, Slag the because they can't force Westminster to give you more money. There should be an acceptance of the limits and it should be about solving the problems. Now, if you've got a better idea on how to solve the problem, put it forward. And if everybody thought that way, we'd solve more problems. There would be a more realistic approach. So I'm going to give Willie a seven, hmm? thereby beating Alex. Best seven score. Ruth. They really need to get a narrative to the Tories. They need to start supporting Westminster somehow. They need to be honest. Well, I mean, all the way down. I mean, they've got to do it because they're unionists. The Tory party ha is doing what it's doing in England. That will eventually affect Scotland. It will affect the Barnet yeah, form. They'll have to write through the Barnet yeah. form. Yeah. Be like, yeah. Yeah, they the should be heartless they, and cruel. The more they privatise <laughs> things in England, the less money's coming to Scotland. It's yeah. that simple. It's, it's not rocket science. And she has to fight that corner somehow. Um, and... I mean, for a Tory to argue with Salmond because he's not putting enough money into public services... And to re-offending. It's just nuts. 
I mean, it's totally crazy. I mean, you know, she should be saying things like, offend three times and you get... I think the re-offending... Thrown in the fall. I think the re-offending topic came up because I think it was an issue down south. Yeah, and what did they do? Did she, she, just put, she just put a kilt on a, on a, on a London well, issue, the, I think. The re-offending issue came up down south because Clem, uh, Ken Clark wanted to put money into it. So what did they do? They moved them on, brought a guy in who yeah. wants to lock everybody up forever. After two, two he wants to do two strikes, mm-hmm. you know. So what do you end so up? So Ruth, I'll, I'll give her a one because she smiled when she stood up. Yeah, right. That's yeah. about it. So are you getting the total? I'm really keen I'm to know because we read yeah, last week I'm we wanted to know what the total yeah. scores are. <laughs> <laughs> right, Alex on top with twenty-seven. Mm-hmm. I think we all accept he's in a different league anyway, so that's really 52. <laughs> Joanne, <coughs> Joanne gets a 12, which I think is very generous mm-hmm. of us. Mm-hmm. Willie gets 22. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, even if... Well, he would have got 20 if he'd all scored him a 5. It's better than 50%. Yeah. Just passed. Um, so that, oh, sorry, Joanne got 16. I can't count. Ruth gets five. Oh, well, she's definitely a fair. Far too much. Ruth gets five. But I do, I do think... Of course. <laughs> are we here? We need to have... I've yeah. got to have special mention here this week for Margot, because uh, Margot yes. was all... I, I mean, she stands up as the elder stateswoman of, the, you know, the, the father of, except the mother of the parliament. Yeah. And she's just... She's the only class act that up, up standing beside uh, Sam. Hmm? And she did, she can wing it. She doesn't have to yeah. read a script or yeah. anything. You know, if the opposition just had somebody like her, good. And I checked. She said she actually said it in English, but she actually said she stood up something and said something like "Hey, my dudes," <laughs> about um, well, it was something to do with Sam. But she does have a, like to have a go at him. What was that about? It was about something to do with the health service. Wasn't about it? dementia. Oh yeah, it was about dementia. dementia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, she basically said that if Salmon doesn't mind, I'll speak to the health minister about it. That's right. <laughs> you got the impression that she was going to walk in some, like some matriarch and go, right, you, get a move on with this. Sit there on your back. Right on, Mario. I'm going to give Margot 12 out of 10. <laughs>